Well, we need to bring in Sherry, who is is, uh, happily sitting there in her. Is this a study of yours or a? It looks like one, doesn't it? It kind of does. Lots of books. No, it's the corner of my studio. Okay. um, The least interesting spot in my house. (laughs) because this is where the grand piano is. Ah. I, I got to be where the grand piano is. I'm moving it upstairs, but it's a little hard to do right now by myself. Gotcha. gotcha. Someday it's going upstairs. But you are there on lovely Bowen Island, mm-hmm. and uh, we all are quite envious of you on a day like today where you're the only one who gets to be near the water, <laughs> and uh, we do not. <laughs> Well, We're I'm and sorry, but I'm very happy for myself. <laughs> <laughs> you've chosen well. You've chosen well. Yeah, I got lucky. Uh, and how, tell us how you've been doing in this time. Well, I feel kind of sheepish uh, being fully honest about how I'm doing because I, this is actually one of my favorite times ever. Mm. <laughs> I'm finding that having everything stop not having the constant pressure that I've had for the last 45 years to stay on the hamster wheel and keep all the, everything, all the balls in the air. Yeah. Um, just having everything stop. I'm still, um, I'm really busy doing stuff that I normally never feel like I have time to do, which Mm. is really fun, including, you know, walking in the woods and sitting outside in the sun with sunscreen, of course. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But just having, yeah, having things stop, of course, that's just in my tiny little world. That's not taking into account the, just the, the havoc that is going on out there in, yeah. in everybody's professional lives and private lives. And, yeah. you know, it's a really, really crazy but unifying time because we've, yeah. I mean, everybody else has been saying this, but we've never had something that the entire world was in the same boat at the same time. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's actually quite... A, a moment for humanity, really. It is. Yes. And, yes. and um, yeah, as hard as it is and as distracting and yet focusing that it is. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of silver linings. And of course, the yeah. being in the same boat, it, it, it depends on who's the captain of your particular boat, wherever you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I feel very, very lucky to be in Canada. This is a great country to be in right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, it always is, but yeah it sort of becomes a more in relief in times of crisis yeah and how long is it that you've been living in canada you moved up from the united states thinking moved that we when... were some strange frozen wasteland <laughs> thinking that, that there were no cities and it was just wilderness and i would homestead <laughs> That's what I, I know i wasn't that well educated geographically speaking <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was very surprised to find a city, but I did come here because I did feel like it was, uh, I had a couple of friends who'd come ahead of me and said, you know, this is a kinder, gentler place to be. <laughs> it was during the Vietnam War, hmm. wow. you know, another more kind of world crisis. Yeah, so I'm very, very happy that it came. So I was 18 at the time. Wow. Yeah. So it's been a couple of years since then. Been a couple, mm-hmm. couple of 60 years, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be exact. No, 50, 50. sorry. 50, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, what am I doing? See, I'm mathematically compromised as well. <laughs> well, tell you what, let's start you off with something that you feel way more comfortable doing and singing. Um, but we are going to suggest um, that if any of you have requests, Sherry Ulrich song requests, she's She's open and ready <laughs> to take your requests and do whatever it is that you would want her to do. She's geared up for anything. So wow. I, just, I am uh, as long as it's something that I remember how to play. Right. <laughs> That's the only parameter we got going here. <laughs> okay, we well, go ahead. So this is a song off um, Back to Shore called By and By. And, and wow. the last verse of this song uh, that says, I didn't see you coming. Uh, I knew at the time that I was writing it, it w- could be anything. It wasn't necessarily a person. It was mm-hmm. just some big, big life change. So it seems appropriate for now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, got the wrong wrong harmonica. Wait. <laughs> Wait for it. Uh, oh, no, it was the right one. Sorry. <laughs> It's a good thing no one else is seeing this. No. <laughs> yeah. It's just us. 
<laughs> it's just us. <laughs> Watch the weather coming as it moved in through the sound. The last leaves blowing sideways on their big flight to the ground. First will come the rain and then the snow is gonna fly by and by. Well, I like to say I'm sorry for the selfish things I've done, the careless words and promises I've scattered on the run. Or maybe it'll come that I'll forgive myself in time By and by The sun and the moon, they turn and never stray But you and I aren't made that way Who put greed in our hearts anyway That was the first mistake well, I really hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure it's true. No saint's gonna save us, it was up to me and you. Soon will come the day we're gonna say we should have tried harder. Bye and bye. Oh, bye and bye. I didn't see it coming, though I didn't hear a sound. You were suddenly in front of me, spinning me around. And everything I thought about the road that I was on is changing by and by. Oh, by and by. It's all changing by. I see, even though I know people with kids are going crazy, I do think that they never would have and probably won't again have this kind of time with their kids. Uh, I think that's good. Um, that obviously doesn't have anything to do with me because I don't have any young kids. Uh, but I think it is giving us an appreciation for families. I've had more contact with my extended family and siblings than I have in decades <laughs> because we're Zooming every week. and. Yeah. And, uh, I, and I think people are making more of an effort to reach out be, in, at, at this time because we're usually so busy. And that's another thing. I yeah. think our, our life, I mean, this is certainly what I felt is that my, my, my life is so full of busyness that you prioritize to the point of not getting to important things, yeah. which uh, and a lot of that is people. Yeah. And then, of course, on the bigger bigger scale, there is um, a sense of, I mean, people have used the word together almost too much now, but um, <laughs> it's definitely a sense of um, we are, we need to be, do this as a team. And, and yeah. just the fact that depriving yourself of the lifestyle that you're accustomed to and having to stay home, which is so foreign to all of us. Uh, just that alone, given that it's not necessarily about just m making sure we don't get sick. It's it's protecting everybody else that yeah. we might encounter, yeah. which is a trickle down. Oh, sorry, it's a trickle down thing. It's protecting ultimately protecting the people who are on, uh, trying to save the lives of people who are in the hospital. Yeah, and that's yeah. and and just yeah, that whole web of of humanity. Yeah, we we needed that. Yeah. And and how about the air and the environment that's getting a break from yeah. the human impact? Yeah. That's pretty great. Yeah. We never would have experienced that. There's no way we're going to say, okay, everybody, we're all going to stay home for, you know, two months maybe. Okay, we're going to see what happens to the environment. Yeah. <laughs> like that would never yeah. happen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, and I think, I think that there is some sort of uh, m mass benefit <laughs> that is happening in the whole world um, yeah. on all the fronts that 
are so important. We talk about them as being important, but practically our life drives us. And so we don't mm -hmm. treat them as important. So mm -hmm. having life no longer drive us for a moment in time. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's really... It had to be forced upon <laughs> us because yeah, we, it really we, did. Re we like our, we like our lives and all of our, you know, the things and the activities and all this stuff. And when you're staying in one place like this, you realize how little of it is really important and how much you do that you don't need to be doing, how much you buy that you don't need to be buying. Yeah. Uh, you know, how many trips in the car that you don't need to take. Yep. 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 It's true. Yep. All those. Yep. It's true. <laughs> uh, forgiveness is one of my favorite themes, actually. I think it's the key to many, many things, both large and small. Um, okay. I haven't played this for a while. Fingers crossed. <laughs> To the edge, to the scene of the wreckage, to lay it to rest. We found our way through the trees. We could see all the pieces washed up on the beach. Oh, 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 oh. buried there in the sand, where the words and the reasons we dropped. So sure they'd all washed away Over time, over seasons With the tide and the waves If I had wishes Only three Well, I'd use them up So easily I'd need at least a dozen Maybe more Surely on earth and probably third that I hadn't heard you. Seems in every wish there's a bit of forgiveness. Oh, 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 oh. We moved to higher ground to a place that was safe with the pieces we found. We held them up to the light They were sad, they were sweet And full of surprises If I could have every wish Well, I'd change the course of all of this I'd need at least a dozen, maybe more Peace on earth and probably third that I hadn't hurt you. Seems in every wish there's a bit of forgiveness. We would have done better if we only held it all together if we'd understood just how precious our Down the list is that I didn't miss you. 
seems in every way there's a bit of forgiveness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can I give wow. this to me? Yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful. Wow. It's my, I think that's my favorite song of yours. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like, um, you know, I, I actually have a question here. Um, what is the most important lesson you've learned? In um, life? In life. Pretty broad question. Oh, there's so many. But, but I would think, I mean, just segueing with this song, um, mm. when you've expressed where this song comes from, you really put a lot of the lessons that you learn in the songs that you write. And yes, the I whole do. idea of, of forgiveness and restoring kind of uh, family communication and relationship it has always been a really important thing for you. And you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if we're talking about this particular song, certainly the, the lessons are that forgiveness and, and connection and maintaining a family unit, no matter what happens in the family, is really important. Uh, I'd say the broader, the, the broader biggest lesson that I've learned is kindness. Hmm. And that every as I move through my day, my life, uh, every interaction that I have with every person, I try and leave them feeling good. I know that sounds kind of corny, but um, you know, because we're we're interacting and and intersecting with people so often, all the time. Everybody's stressed. Everybody wants to be appreciated and respected and seen and heard. And that can happen in just the tiniest little exchange with something. Just yeah. the way they're treated in that moment can yeah. cause a little shift in them for that moment or that day or who knows. But I feel like that's that's my job. Hmm. It's really all our jobs, but <laughs> yeah. I, maybe I take it a little more seriously. I don't <laughs> no, know. But. No, I think it's true. I think I think that we have um, we have developed a culture that has be, become so critical of one another, um, mm -hmm. so desiring. You're cranky. Yeah, <laughs> and so so desiring to to keep um, uh, kind of whatever we believe in or whatever we think or you know our territory to you know make sure that we're seen and heard and all of that. And I do think that that we've forgotten how to be kind to one another and. Uh, what we do love about you, Sherry, is that you bring so much graciousness um, whenever you're around people, and that Aww. that does that does speak through really deeply. I mean, Russ and I, we laugh and cry every time you come into Bez because we just go, "Oh, she's here! Aww, she's bringing that, that so kindness sweet. and the graciousness," and it really it, is something. Yeah. It really is. Well, I have to say, it's not necessarily altruistic it it's no. so it's such a much nicer way to go through life yeah, yeah. i mean the rewards are constant hmm. and so i get to feel better i get to enjoy my life better or more well uh, so the thinking about the first time i met you you were singing at one of the marcus mosley choir events at saint james right. hall Right. And you were the special guest and I was uh, Marcus had invited me to do a couple songs or something too. So somehow our, our names were on the bill together and I was mm -hmm. like, "Oh, this is I'm I can't believe it. I'm singing with oh. Sherry Ulrich. I remember when I was in high school and and she was on the radio and ah, this is awesome." And then I called my brother-in-law who's on the feed. I said, "Yeah, so I'm singing with Sherry on, you know, and he was like, "Well, I tend to be all cash." <laughs> but so funny. But what I, the, at the end of that event, I said, um, hey, would you come and sing at Bez? And you went, well, tell me about it. And so you right away weren't saying, oh, hey, no, I don't do those small little gigs. <laughs> Not that I, we, I didn't know you, but you were right away, that sounds interesting. Let's talk. Yeah. And it was beautiful and it was welcoming and it was so encouraging. And then you came on your own. And then you next time you came, you brought a trio. The next time you brought Barney Bento. Many Bettel, times. And, and you just yeah. keep coming. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I've certainly learned to say yes. 
Okay. Yeah. And it's never backfired. I mean, there's on occasion I know enough to say no, but mm -hmm. uh, if it's something I don't know about or something that scares me, it seems too challenging, out of my comfort zone, whatever it is, I just say yes. Mm -hmm. And it's it's paid off every single time, and and long relationships have come out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know the other thing about um, what you said is that. I never think of myself that way. Yeah. I mean, I'm just making music, which yeah. I love to do. So yes. I never expect that reaction. Right. It's always, I'm always surprised when I hear of that. Yeah. I don't know that you've shared that with me before. <laughs> I'm always surprised to hear that because I'm, you know, I just think I'm just the schmuck like, like all of us, uh, <laughs> which I am. Yeah, but, um, you are. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. that's that's actually what has given you such longevity as an artist, I think, because because you have not seen it as, you know, some reach trying to reach some pinnacle of success or non success or whatever. You just keep doing the work that you're here to do. And yeah. it's about writing good songs and about caring for people by offering up your music. And that's that's really what it's about. Yeah, I really feel strongly that, and you've probably heard me say this before, but I don't feel like the music is about the person making the music. The music is about this amazing, beautiful, fantastic experience that we share. Mm -hmm. And I just, it happens to come out of me in that moment, but it's not about me. It's about that music. So I always think of it literally like it's, it's something that gets laid down between me and the audience to mm -hmm. experience and appreciate as opposed to, hey, look at me, listen yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> I can never take my hands off the piano or I'm screwed. Okay. <laughs> Help me out of this space. I am crying. And I don't want to lose a nerve. Play away. 
Awesome. Awesome. Mm. Wow. Wonderful. Ooh. So wow. good. Wow. Love Yay. That. that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, this is my first time doing this, and it's different. It's definitely different. Yeah. Um, so thank you for the opportunity because it's letting me get comfortable yeah. in this new, brave new world that we're probably going to be in for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. And did you want to do another song from the piano right now sure. while you're there? I can do that. Okay. Wow. So I guess it would be the sweater. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was one of the requests for sure. And we're getting some comments coming in from uh, from YouTube saying the sound is really good on YouTube. Uh, so yes! there you, so. Oh, that's so triumphant. Oh. <laughs> that's so good. So it's all working. It's just, you know, you how- and people, Kathleen is sitting under a tree in Fort Langley and she just says oh. it's beautiful. She says, oh. listening under a cherry tree near Fort Langley. Thank you. And that's that wonderful. Is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, and, and look, I can see it all nice and big and bold on the screen. Yeah. You've put a lot of time into making this all work, and it's fantastic. <laughs> Thank it really you. Is. We're, we, what was our heart is, as we were talking about Bez earlier, is that creating community so that art and music can inspire and encourage people. And that's... So I don't it's want happening. it. To, yeah, I don't want it to just be some live stream somewhere. I want it to be a, a fellowship, <laughs> a gathering. <laughs> Do you know? And so that's what we're feeling. I missed the very last sentence because I had. To. <laughs> it's okay. I, I use the word fellowship. I don't know what that means. Gathering. <laughs> gathering. It's a good thing. It's a yeah. very good thing. All right. <laughs>
Thank Lovely. You. That's so Thank good. You. That's Boy. so good. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sherry, we could just sit here and let your music soothe us. And one okay. of the things, one of the things Russ and I were talking about is the fact that you know we're we're trying to slow down, but so much of mm. what we're we're feeling like we need to feed into in this time has us, you know, like yes, still doing exactly. this. And yeah. suddenly, sitting <clears throat> with you feels like no, it's it's okay it's calm we're all gonna be all right mm -hmm. sherry's here Aww. she's gonna hold our hand <laughs> through this and we're all gonna be okay and you see this, you so see this comment uh, we, we've got a comment here from dan oh. teeson he says one thing oh. i really miss i will really miss. i will really miss when this covid season is over is the access to the artists in their homes where they are real authentic mistakes and all <laughs> <laughs> you always get that with me so. I <laughs> love it that. and we'll miss it. Thank you, Sherry and the Rosines. That's oh, so oh. kind of you, Dan. Thank you, That's Dan. That's <laughs> really, really helpful. Yeah. I mean, I have this... heard a lot of people say that they're they're going to miss this yeah. when it's over. Yeah. yeah, and this this is the true part of it is that we really are getting into each other's homes. Uh, where we have no choice but to be real, right? <laughs> exactly. And I know this sounds kind of shallow, but I, I, I didn't used to be much of a late night talk show watcher. Here, I'll move to this one. It'll be better yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, and I have been because they're all in their homes. Yeah. And their kids are, used, are running the camera or their wife, or they just yeah. go for a walk with their mask with their wife and have a conversation about their marriage or when they were trying to have children. or, yeah. And and uh, sometimes the dog will run through and little kids running through, but also the conversations that they're having with people who are in their homes, right? Right. Um, yeah. They're just very uh, authentic. Authentic is the word. Yep. Yeah. And and we're talking about things that are deeper. It doesn't have all the Hollywood blitz on it. Yep. It's just a bunch of humans. Yep. And, yeah. And of course, the ones who are, have the talk shows are very entertaining and witty <laughs> and intelligent, which is nice to tune yeah. into every night. Yeah. Even but still. But I'm yeah. loving all of that. Yeah. I'm really Same. It. And and I think, um, you know, someone has said that um, um, entertainment distracts but art focuses Ooh. and and I feel like that. we've had we've had a whole lot of a generation that is being distracted by all the entertainment and suddenly we do have an opportunity to let whatever art it is that we have be the main speaking tool rather than all the distracting things we get mm -hmm. to really hunker down and focus in this time. I think that the entertainment is often art. I mean, there's a wide range of what Absolutely. art is. Sure. But, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I think the the distractions are a lot of other things that aren't necessarily entertainment. I mean, I'm not talking yeah. about people who are addicted to video games and stuff like that, but um, just the, the busyness of our lives and yeah. going out and, you know, all that stuff that we do. There's just a lot of busyness that's the distraction. Yeah, that's it. But that's I, it. And I found that in being home, I think, now, is it okay to just watch some movie just for the heck of it? But then, <laughs> yeah. of course, so many of them are the, the quality of film and writing these days is so good, whether it's on net, wherever it is. Yeah. A lot of it is just so exceptional. I never yeah. watch stuff that's po post apocalyptic and all the, you know, all the junk. I don't watch the junk because I don't want to be scared. I don't want to be terrified. I don't yeah. want the thrill. I want human stories. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I gravitate towards. And, and this is the time to, to take it in. I don't usually allow myself that kind of time. But. Yeah. I have a way to make to give donations on my website, but you can buy music. You can buy music, <laughs> so but can we thing. not contact yeah. you for uh, sending uh, donations there? Or? Well, if they want out and out, email me money. I yeah, guess. yeah, that, that works. A little weird. That works. That's the way to do it. That's the coolest. Then don't let it just get straight into it. E transfers oh, every yeah, time. Be a first, yeah. All right. Oh, it's funny. Okay. Oh, All it's right. been a pleasure. Bye, Take everybody. Bye, okay, bye. bye. bye.